So I'm like really bored. So why not just read you guys a story that like the thing about jellyfish book title. I'm already on page three. I started reading before I even recorded, but we're gonna I'm gonna read where I left off. Which might sound like a lot, but the truth is it barely even gets you to twelve years. Talking about heartbeats. Um part one picture of a jellyfish. Chapter one purpose. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter if you're writing a middle school lab report or a real scientific paper. Begin with an introduction that establishes a purpose for all the information that's to follow. What do we hope? You done? What do we hope to find out from this research? How does it relate to human concerns? Touch. Touch. Okay. During the first three weeks of seventh grade, I have learned to I've learned one thing above all else. Else. A person can become invisible simply by staying quiet. I always thought that being seen was about what person perceives with their eyes. But by the time the Eugene Field Memorial Middle School made the fall trip to the aquarium, I Susie Swanson Swanson had disappeared entirely. Being seen is more about the ears and the eyes, it turns out. We were standing in the touch tank room, listened to a bearded aquarium work worker speak into a microphone. Hold your hand flat, he said. He explained. Um, okay. That if we placed our hands in the tank and held them perfectly still, tiny sharks and rays would graze against our palms like friendly house cats. They'll come to you, but you have to keep your hand flat and very still. I would have liked to feel a shark against my fingers, but it was too crowded at the tank, too noisy. I stood in the back of the room, just watching. We made, we had made tie-dye shirts in our class in preparation for this field trip. We stained our hands neon orange and blue, and now we wore the shirts like a fiscalic uniform? I have no idea. I guess the idea was that we'd be easy to spot if any of us got lost. A few of the pretty girls, girls like Aubrey Lavalle and Molly Sampson and Jenna Van Hoos, had tied their t-shirts into knots at their hips. Mine hung over my jeans like an old art sm smock. Okay. 